Hey y'all, it's Andrew Reed with Mossy Creek Mushrooms, and today I want to discuss with you guys these beautiful things right here. You know, it's the like one thing that all of us see all the time. The unicorn bag. I have seen that other people have done videos on these. I kind of just wanted to add my two cents on them. Um, I have a nice fat stack over here, courtesy of Unicorn. Uh, Seth actually thought that this would be um, a good use of some bags, I guess. So he sent me a big, nice variety pack of a bunch of different stuff to try and to show you guys. So first of all, I want to go over the alphanumerics of their names. And then we'll, as we discuss those, you'll just naturally have an understanding of what you want to use for what occasions. So a good example of this is the filters, right? Everyone really gets into like, what does 14A mean? What does 3T mean? What does, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the truth is that usually the first part of it is the bag size. So XLS is the extra large bags, right? XL makes sense. The, um, but the filter patches are what are tacked on to the end. So on the end of this, you have different types. You have the, um, what is most commonly used in most ops, starting from the ground up, is the XLS, or the, the A filter, sorry, not XLS, the, the A filter, which is not that one, but this one. Here we go. Here's the XLS. Dash A. These filters right here, big, allow a lot of airflow, right? They have some larger gaps. Um, interestingly enough, these are not the biggest filters. I don't understand that why A isn't the biggest since it's the most extreme on there, but I, I don't know their naming system, why they came up with it. It's just, I don't like it, but these are the understandings of it. A is the 0.5 micron. This is what we use for our grow bags. 0.5 micron is big enough that it does allow some contamination to pass through, but for the most part, these nice beefy filter patches are going to catch most of what they need to catch in the given amount of time that an oyster mushroom or shiitake or anything else can colonize the bag. Once the block is colonized, once the bag is colonized, you're not really having to worry as much about contamination. So the fact that these allow some through is not going to be that big a deal. No filters perfect. So all filters allow some through. But the question is about whether or not they are designed to, right? So you have the XLS-A. Now, let's go into a, I mean the, the A. Golly, I just keep doing that. Sorry guys. On this next one, this is the T filter patch. The T filter patch, and I have B-roll to go over these with you guys. The T filter patch is 0.2 micron. It is 0.3 micron. The holes in it are 0.3 microns smaller than the 0.5 micron. This is actually supposed to be small enough that it will stop mold spores and bacterial endospores. The, the truth is that it does a really good job of that. The one thing that it kind of fails on is it is much slower air exchange in these filter patches. Now, there's some re there's definitely some use cases for these. We use 0.2 for making spawn. Or if we have a slow growing variety that we're going to fruit in vitro in the bag, we will use 0.2 because this will keep the insides of that bag the cleanest of all the filter types. Um, the T type, being 0.2 and, allow, and allowing for the screening of mold spores and bacterial endospores allows you to grow spawn in open air, right? Even though most of our labs have HEPA filtration, they are not purely sterile air. And so because of that, it is nice to have these filter patches. I'm not a big fan of polyfill or anything like that. These bags are so cheap. Um, you're not saving any money on your polyfill. In fact, you're wasting, you're, you're not making money, actually, you're, or you're spending a lot of time, you know, with these micro pour tape and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about that. Just use the, the filter patches and just use the bags as they're intended. Now, um, 
pretty simple. T is the point two, A is the point five. Now here is another, the third filter type, the B. And again, I don't understand these names because B is five micron. It is 5.0 micron, not the 0.5 that the A was. Um, and why you go from uh, um, 0.5 the, and down the alphabet to five point and then go all the way down the alphabet to T where it is 0.2. Again, I don't know. They've obviously got a naming system not really based on that. Um, the five point micron, the five micron, um, the B filter is supposed to allow for a lot more airflow, a lot more. Um, and you can see it. You can absolutely see it. Uh, when I show you through the microscope, the, the images of the filters, you can absolutely see that this filter will allow for some. You get air movement when you press down on a bag with these. Now, the point or the five point micron, the um, the B series is designed, from my understanding, for oyster mushrooms. This is a, supposed to be an oyster specific filter because in the time that an oyster mushroom colonizes a block, and because of their aggression, you don't actually need the best filters. You just need a screen, basically. And I, I mean a screen is to, in terms of the filter world, not a window screen or anything like that. So again, we'll go through A is 0.5 micron, B is 5 micron, T is 0.2 micron. Now, we're gonna go into bag sizes. The only other difference in these bags when you've got the same series, so like let's say if I have an XLS-A and an XLS-B, those are the same size bags with different filter patches on it. So, when you have, this is the XLS bag. Quite a large bag as I'm holding it. Um, and I have examples of all of these to show you guys. Uh, just stand with material in them of the different size bags. XLS is a big block. We make our 12 pound fruiting blocks with this. It is beefy. We could probably go to 15 to 18 pounds. I wouldn't want to go much more than that because it would be impossible to shake these things. Um, but we have found 12 to be a manageable size and reduces our cost because you only have to shake one bag instead of two five pound bags. Now, speaking of the five pound bags, ah, here they are. Like I said, Seth sent me a lot. One of like everything. These are the 14 series. So you went from XLS, which was the larger bag, to the 14. The 14, is what I would use if I was gonna make a five pound bag. Either this or the three, either one would work. We'll get to the three in a moment. The 14 is, uh, the 14A uh, is traditionally what I used for um, making spawn. I'm sorry, the, the 14T, um, which I don't think exists anymore. Now we use the 3T. These 14As, A has the 0.5 micron filter patch these would be used for grow blocks of a five pound size, five to seven pounds. And really that's just, we have found that a lot of ops prefer the five pound bags. So you would use the 14A if that's what you're wanting to go to. Otherwise, I wouldn't really worry much about the 14 size um, because the three is close enough. Here we go. The 3T, that's what I have here. So if you remember the T, was 0.2 micron filter patch. This is our grain spawn bag. This is what we use from Unicorn to make grain spawn. 0.2, because our labs are clean, have mostly clean air, but still need additional screening. And you know, why not go with the best screening possible? Um, even though they've got good airflow, they do really filter the air. Now the three size, we hold about five pounds of grain. Um, it will, you can notice, uh, let's see. I'll hold them up side by side, but 
But you can also see them on the table. So there is the 14, there's the three. Basically the exact same thing. The three T is what we use for spawn. It's also uh, possible that you can get, um, you know, and then you could use the 14 A for your fruiting blocks if you're doing everything in five pound size. <clears throat> I like grain in five pound allotments because if a bag goes bad, you know, it's not a 10 pound bag. I don't think 10 pounds of spawn. I mean, it's fine if you're wanting to make large amounts and you're wanting to really economize, but honestly, these are cheap, easy to make. And, you know, we inoculate spawn really quickly using liquid culture, so it takes us no time to do it whatsoever. Speaking of um, liquid culture, the three series and the four series of bags, the size, comes with the injector port. These injector ports, this is a 3T injection bag. These, these allow you to stab a needle through the bag and pull it back out and it will stay sealed. So it stays clean. So you can cook your grain and then bam, just for a little bit more, you got Unicorn doing the work for you. You don't have to retape anything afterwards. Just wipe it with alcohol, stab the bag, shoot it in there, done. The three series, we use those for grain and I'm probably gonna be switching entirely over to the liquid culture patch because it's really not that much more expensive and it's way better than you know us having to carefully open bags and spray inside and this just limits that vector of contamination. Love self-healing injector ports. Um, speaking of that, here is the four series. And you can see where I've marked it, where we could see a little bit better through the microscope on the filter patch. These do come in different filters as well. They do come with injection ports if you want to order those. I use these if I'm making plug spawn, uh, grain masters. I've even grown liquid culture in these bags. Uh, with the point, you got to have the point two micron filter patch, right? The T, uh, the uh, the T series filter patch. Um, <laughs> but. These things, like it was the Franzia of liquid culture, right? <laughs> but these um, these are perfectly sized for mushroom kits, if you want to do those. They are a little harder to shake, but they are perfect for liquid culture inoculation. This long shape allows for most of the um, depth of the bag, I guess. The Oh my gosh, guys, I can't, I'm having a brain fart mm -hmm. now. But it allow, if you spray liquid culture in from the bottom of the injector port and really spray it around, you're pretty much inoculating this entire cylinder. So I like these bags for liquid culture inoculation for grain masters. Um, you can fit a lot more of these in a pressure cooker, so they make perfect kit sizes. It's usually enough for somebody to eat on once they produce, and they, they just do really well. Also, if I'm making plug spawn, you can fit like 1,500 plugs in these and uh, they can be inoculated with liquid culture and bam you have 1500 plugs in a, a small bag and they just fit really tight so that's the four series here you have another bag i have not really found a use case for this one i've never really used it much um i have had these bags before i have played around with them it's the tens the tens as far as i can tell just come in the point two micron filter patch. It's probably a grain spawn bag of some sort. Um, it's a little wider, a little deeper. It's it's not, I'll be honest guys, I. it's it's a nice little bag, but there are bags with more useful sizes from what I've found. If anyone has found a use that they really love these tens for, let me know and put it in the comments so everyone can know. And then everybody go check that out and let me know what you guys think about the any, well, honestly, any sizes. Let me know what sizes you guys use. Um, I'm just letting you know what we use here. So now you know, okay, if I want to make grain spawn, I want a cleaner filter patch. That means I'm, I've automatically got to go with the T-Series, right? I'm going with a grow bag, but I still need filtration, uh, pretty good filtration because my environment is less than ideal. Most people's inc fruiting block incubation is less than ideal. So I'm going to go with the A filter patch because it's 0.5 micron. It's going to afford me some protection, but it's also going to afford me that speed. Um, and then you might go, hey, I want to go with the B filter because the B filter is for oysters and almost everything I do is oysters. So I want that speed. I will say, guys, that I've used 
the 5 and the 0.5, and I have not really noticed much of a difference in oyster mushroom growth um, or speed of colonization. I don't have any strong data either way to show that the, uh, the, the larger, more airy filter does anything. So I just keep staying with the 0.5. The, the five micron doesn't really seem to afford me any speed bonus from what I've seen. Now that said, there may be places that I have, and if it has for you, please again, put that down in the comments so we can know. I would love to see more data coming out about the different types and use cases for bags. I will say that if I was gonna do large amounts of plug spawn, I would probably pasteurize the plugs and I would do the um, B series filter because that's the five micron. Now, and then all you gotta do with this is decide on, now that you've figured out your filter patch rather, all you gotta do off to that point is figure out your size. Do I wanna shake 12 pound blocks? Do I want guns, right? Well, you want them big guns on your you know, biceps. You want those 12 pound blocks. You wanna be a little kinder to your wrist or, you know, we've, we've had, um, uh, smaller employees that have that have worked here that have you know let's just be honest they're a lot smaller than Tristan and I who are you know large giants compared to a lot of people in the world and maybe they don't want to shake 12 pound blocks so five pounds would be an acceptable you know way to go that said we still run on 12 pound blocks almost everyone in the crew usually gets used to it about the first or second week you know the 12 pound block has become normal to you um so again, you, the XLS is what I think is perfect for a 12 pound block size. The threes are perfect for what I consider um, grain spawn sized or five pound block sized. The 14s are like not much different than the threes from what I can tell. And then the, the, the fours are perfect for grain spawn and whatnot. The tens, again, I've not really found a use case for, so I'm not gonna really dig into those for you guys. You saw the size of them. Um, they're not gigantic bags. They're not small. They're just kind of in the middle. Um, and I think that the five pounds already in the middle enough. So I know that this was kind of a short direct through uh, to the point video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any experience with unicorn bags that you would like to share, please put those in the comments down below. Inform me what your use cases are. And that way everyone else can uh, enjoy it as well um, or rather maybe not even enjoy it maybe you'll be helping somebody really save their op because you're like this was my experience and they're like crap that was mine too and your solution was to switch to another bag and now they're going to do it too you may have just you may have just saved someone's op so imagine the thankfulness you'll have for that <laughs> well and with that y'all keep spawning culture hit that like and subscribe button i'll see you guys later Put to go and do Oh, it wasn't recording. I'm just playing, obviously it's recording.